What is happening and welcome now to the season finale of season one of um, this Celtic career mode. As you can see, we only have three games to go and they're three huge games. We've got Rangers in the last game of the season to lift the 10. We've got St Johnston in the Scottish Cup and we've got Atalanta in the Europa League final. It's taken a, quite a while to get here. We've played so, a lot of games, simmed a lot of them as well. But um, now we have to just have to go and list the SPFL title at Celtic Park against Rangers. And here we are on Trophy Day, what would be called Helicopter Sunday, but the league has already been decided and Celtic are already being named champions. It's just being crowned champions now that we are waiting for and hopefully we can go out with a blast. Ball into Bladu. Bladu, Christie, oh, and Bladu's done well there to get past his man, and it's Bladu to kick off the party! And Bladu has scored to make it 1 0 to kick off the title party for Celtic at Celtic Park against Rangers. You can see the defeat in the Rangers players, the little knock pass through the legs, and the finish as well is exquisite. Turn ball in, winning the ball back and he can dish this out to Callum McGregor. He's got Edward making the run ahead of him. Cut out there by Hollander. But he'll make that run again and here's Odds on Edward to make it 2-0. Odds on Edward and he does so with a cool finish to roll it past McGregor. And Celtic are well on their way now to another three points to finish off the season against their bitter rivals, Rangers. Okay, they're looking for the quick one too. He's kept his run going though. But here's Boadu. If he can finish, good save. Oh, crunching 50 50 tackle there with Frimpong. But we've won the ball back and that's going to be lofted upfield and it's going to be found to Edward's feet. Edward, and now he's found Frimpong who's made the run again. On the right hand side, it's Jeremy Frimpong getting this ball over to Edward. 3 0 is the score. On the 39th minute mark, and it's become easy this season for Odson Edward, a feared striker around Europe, he is now. And that should be the half time whistle, 3 0. Well defended by Chris Adger there. And it's good pass and play, look at that. And Turnbull will get it back again, a little give and go between him and Bladder. He's going to cut on the inside here if he's got a pass to. Dish it out to Ryan Christie. It's going to go back to Turnbull. Been the orchestrator so far. He has, and that is good. Pass and play in and amongst each other. Bladu and Edward, and the partnership strikes again. Odds on Edward with a hat trick now. And some player he is turning out to be. Some amount of growth we have seen from him this season has been fantastic. Him and Bladu as well. Just a partnership up top. It's, it's unbeatable. Teams don't have an answer for it. And I'm really going to have to make a decision on whether to accept the big massive bids that will be coming in for them or just keep them. Again, Turnbull and his defensive duties, he's been excellent at that today and again Celtic can, can, can counter, they've been excellent at that today and here comes Johnson leading the charge, he's through on goal here and he can make it 5-0, the icing on the cake and it is, it's 5-0. Mikey Johnson, another player who's had a fantastic season for us, absolutely fantastic he has been as have the whole team. And there we have it, the final whistle. The final whistle has been blown on our Premier League season. And we will be today crowned champions. You can see what that means to the players. Gordon there, his first breakout season. A Yeti, crucial part to our season as well. Elianusi not so much, it's been mostly Johnston, I have to say, from the middle to the end part of the season. He's really came into the team. Frimpong, probably, if not, Boadu, player of the season for me. And you can see the celebrations are kick-starting in Glasgow today. The players will all be out tonight. 
with sore heads in the morning and I, I, I realised earlier on in the game that I forgot to put Scott Brown into the squad so it's going to have to be Callum McGregor to lift the 10 but that is fine by me Callum McGregor is certainly worthy of a captain to be lifting 10 in a row and he will be doing here you can see the players are all excited and again Celtic are champions of the SPFL what a road it has been all the games played and simmed the players played their part Roy Keane did his part it's been absolutely fantastic and it's just the first of many seasons in this series that I'm planning on doing at least until we win the big one Okay, great winning, congratulations, no questions. All the headlines will uh, be about Edward's performance. Edward can lead this team to great things. A great performance and a great hat trick, but Edward's uh, true value to this team is as a leader. Fantastic record for the team, of course. Celtic going unbeaten for 10 games. How do you reflect on the run? Um, we'll go well done to all the players. Uh, the group of players have been an absolute pleasure to work with and help, and I've helped any way that I can. So your team managed to get one better over Rangers once again and got the win today. You must be pleased. Uh, yeah, we'll say, we'll say the domination. We set certain standards here at Celtic. Maybe we were, we were under uh, par last time against our opponents, but we had professional pride today. And here we are guys, we are now on to the Scottish Cup final against St Johnston and we're going to be playing a rotated team because in just two days time we have the Europa League final and of course that's the big one, we want all our first team players fit for that game but our secondary squad should have the quality, possess the quality to get the job done here and secure the Scottish Cup for this season, you can see the run it took to get here. St. Johnson beating Rangers on the way here. No easy bypass there. Hopefully, we can lift yet another trophy. And that could potentially be three trophies. I know the League Cup's not in the game, but still three all the same. Rogic's going to give this in to a Yeti. Yeah, into Encham, Encham's going to have a little run here, he's going to get this ball across the box and it's Kutuku who arrives late from the ball in and puts that past the keeper, a perfectly, a perfectly created goal there, you can see the individual ability opened up the space and Kutuku was there to pounce on the ball into the box and slots it past the keeper. Yeti again with the 1-2. That's good play from Kutuku. Going to give this out wide to El Yanusi, who will be back to Southampton after this game, possibly. Good play there. And it's El Yanusi again, and he gets his parting goal. El Yanusi has been absolutely fantastic for Celtic over the past few seasons, and that is just the icing on the cake for his Celtic career. To score the goal that could potentially put it beyond doubt in the Scottish Cup final. Brilliantly played there. What a team goal again. The slip through pass. He made his run. Keeper had absolutely no chance. And that already is 2-0. Uh, yeah. Giving this out to Rogic. And Rogic can see this out to Elianusi again. He's somehow got past his man. He's coming on into the box. Get past another one. He's going to finish that off. And again, what a goal. Showing his Premier League class. There, Mohamed El Yanoussi takes it past one, two, and slots it into the back of the net after the run from deep given to him by Tom Rogic. You can see, just gets past his man there. Little fake shot there, and he takes the shot early on, surprising the keeper to make it 3-0. El Yanoussi, the man on form today. It's going to get this back here. And it's McKinley with the 1-2 with the Yeti and it's McKinley again, the young man, just 18 years of age, has come on 
and done absolutely wonders since he's come on. The little giving go creates the space. He does have to get rid of that moustache. I'm going to see if I can do anything about that because that's just not on. But this is absolutely on. The play from McKinley. Oh, I mean, dispossessed there at the back. Ryan Porteous. And it's going to allow St. Johnson who... And it's May. And it's a good finish from Stevie May. To give a consolation goal to St. Johnson for their efforts. Again, Celtic playing well. Here's a Yeti. A Yeti to get his goal. He could do this time, and he has. And that perhaps could be his parting gift as well. Although he wanted to keep a Yeti, it seems he will be out the door with a couple of bids coming in for him and some bids that are just... You would take the money for them, like 20 million for a Yeti. You'd take that every day of the week. This could be his parting gift as well, although he might come on. In the Europa League final, we never know. And there we have it, guys. Another trophy won in this episode. That's two out of three. We've just got the big one to go. The Scottish Cup. Not as big in career mode. It's not that huge. I think we only have to play like four games. But um, it is a trophy nonetheless. It's Scott, it's Scott. I think it's Scott McKinley's. I don't know if that's his first name. But it's McKinley's first... And now it's Christopher Julian's turn to lift a trophy this season and he deserves it as well. The Scottish Cup champions as well as the Premier League champions. You can see that is a big trophy for the second secondary squad. They've played a big part in the season, Karamoko as well. We've seen some excellent, excellent progress from this side. Alright guys, just before we hit on to the um, Europa League final, I'm just going to run through some of the players and the statistics of this season just because I won't have a chance to do it after the Europa League final because we might lose we might win who knows what will happen so we have Barkas went up three ratings he's been alright he's not been the greatest he conceded some sloppy goals I have to say but um, he's been an alright addition of course you can see there 22 goals for Boadu a Yeti with 19 that's what I mean he's coming on in that secondary team for the fitness he's been scoring those goals he's getting more than um, Odson Edward which is something to say with how good Edward's been, you can see 6 plus ratings there, up to an 81 now, which is fantastic. Ryan Christie as well, instrumental, look at that, 16 goals, 10 assists, 26 contributions and 11 clean sheets. What a vital player he has been for our first season. And Johnson as well, as I said before, the young man getting his breakout season, 14 goals. And then Turnbull from midfield, 9. Ilyanusi as well, so many players that have played very, very well. And you can see the, the value of our players have all increased can see look at that all up in the 20s now edward look at frimpong's value 28 million for jeremy frimpong and you can just you just know you just know the big teams are coming in for these guys next season and i'm gonna have to really tie them down on decent contracts to keep them um and potentially bring in some players of our own you can see christie as well worth a worth a bunch there still only 26 encham as well not really played as much this season johnson growing mcgregor tinganga as well one of the players that um, that I enjoyed growing the season, plus six, you can see he'll be in the first team. One of the first names in the team sheet next season, Gordon as well, what a player he has been. McKinley there, you can see. So our team has actually played pretty well. This is how the first team squad lines up and this is how we'll be lining up for the Europa League final. What a side it's been. You can see all the overall ratings have increased. The three at the back, I was a bit worried about it, but it's proved to actually be pretty good. And I'm quite happy with it, to be honest with you. But what we'll do is we'll go in to this press conference, the last press conference of the season, and get that over and done with. Uh, your team have already achieved so much this season with both winning the Scottish Cup and the League Cup today, you can achieve a treble. Mm, we won't be complacent. This team has already had so much success this season. I don't think the boys will let up at all. Edward's good form has been uh, a real plus for your boys recently and I'm sure you must be thinking he can uh, do that with more playing time. I don't know where this playing time's coming from. I think it's maybe the substitute games that we've been playing the second team. We'll see, I have to adapt for each game. It's important to have a plan to deal with each opponent that we face. Every game's different, so we have to adapt the players and the tactics that we use. It's a pretty evenly matched contest, Mr Keane. Do you think Atlanta have uh, the chance of getting a result against you boys today? Hmm... 
we've got to respect them. We're in decent form, but that doesn't guarantee us a win here. Yeah, Atlanta are a decent side, to be fair. Uh, they've got that Gomez boy, Zapata as well. He's good this year. I think he's like 82 rated or something like that, 81 maybe. So they do have a decent side. And here we are. We're at the London Stadium, the home of West Ham FC. The Hammers, they are called. But the Hammers are not playing today. Today is the Europa League final between Celtic and Atalanta. And you can see the trophy there. The long road it has taken us to get here. Look at all the results against all the German opposition. And now we have some Italian opposition to play in Atlanta. You can hear the noise, the atmosphere in the stadium, the anticipation, it's all built up. This should be a cracking fixture for us today and hopefully we can get the win. Here is Atlanta's team. Caldara at the back with Kunati and Sotolo, Darun, Lammers, Gossens and whatever that guy's name is. And then we have Gomez and whatever that guy's name is and Zapata up. Top. That's a very attacking formation, it has to be said. The mimic does with the three at the back. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I'm hoping, with the partnership of Badu and Edward, that we can expose that with the lack of fullbacks in their team. With the pace that we have going forward on our wing play as well. You can see they didn't really have players on the wing, they just had them more central and forward. And there's the team. To get us here, and this will be the Celtic starting lineup with Barkas and Ghost, Tanganga, Gordon and Ayer at the back, Johnson and Frimpong, the wide players with McGregor, Christie and Turnbull in the middle. Christie obviously pushed a little far further forward, and Edward and Boadu, the leading men up top, to hopefully bag the goals that can help us lift the trophy. And we are off in the Europa League final. Oh, a little bit of nerves here by me. Um, I have to say, it's, I really do not want to lose this at all. And I think Atalanta are, are going to come out and play as well. I really do. I think they're going to really give us a good game. Atalanta holding the ball well early on in the game. And a mistake there. Christie can win the ball back. And it could be a slip through ball. And this could be a perfect start for Celtic. And it's Edward with a chip. Oh my God, we're winning the up already. I cannot believe that. The slack passing at the back there from Atlanta. The slip through ball, Badu just waited a little bit until he got in a decent position. I thought we'd overrun it there with Edward, but he hadn't. You can still see this again. The touch to get in front of the defender and the little Larson dink over the keeper. How many times have we seen that from Larson over the years? And now Edward's doing it in the Europa League as well. Keeper probably could have done better, it has to be said, but still 1-0. Oh, that's good. Zapata's going to get the shot away, but Gordon's there to see that out. Into McGregor. McGregor's going to play this all the way across, and that's good. Passing play. And here's Frimpong leading the goal charge, if he can get something from it. McGregor thinks twice about giving the ball to Frimpong there. He was getting closed down. And Edward, Edward into Boadu. If he can give this to Christie, we can and Christy, he has the legs, he's going to cut on the inside here, but that's snuffed out again by Atalanta. Despite the early mistake, they've defended well, and here's their chance to attack, they're going to give this out wide, but Frimpong deals with that. Good passing to Turnbull, and again, the turnover here, Frimpong, into Boadu, boadu has got a few players ahead of him, he's going to give this to Edward, and Edward can put this into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Odds on Edward, two goals early on in this game, it may have just seen it out for the Europa League final. What a start to the game it's been, we've been so clinical. Zapata, now it could be through, he's going to give this in, and it's a little chip ball, how many times has Barkas been chipped this season? After rushing out, then it's Gossens to drag his team back into the game. Disappointing there. It was very slack defending, it has to be said as well. We'll see it again though. To put a little turn of pace, has the man running in with no one picking him up again.
if we can just get in by half time there we are half time thank god it's still 2-1 Sorry if I'm not speaking, I'm just really concentrating on this game. I do not want to lose it. And come for Atlanta again. And the shot's away, it's been blocked. And it's been blocked again there by Gordon. <laughs> Very desperate defending from Celtic. The ball isn't away yet, the corner will come in. Hopefully we can clear this, we can. The ball's blocked again from a shot. And out for a throw-in for Atlanta. The pressure is on now. See, they're hanging about the edge of the box. They're looking very dangerous here at Atlanta. And here's Zapata with a little give and go between Gomez and he's in. And that's a volley off the chest. What a goal. What a goal we've just conceded there. Nothing we can do about that. That is just fantastic play from Atlanta. And Zapata has been very dangerous. No wonder we can't underestimate this side. They got to the Europa League final for no reason. Look at that little give and go on the chest. Bang. Johnson looking a little bit tired now as we come into the second half McGregor's going to give this over into Boadu Boadu's found a little bit of space if he can turn he's got Edward ahead of him if he can wait on the pass the pass has been played through into Edward if he can get the shot away he's going to give it a cross goal snuffed out by the defence Kanati gets that away for a corner kick Frimpong's going to come off for possibly the last appearance for James Forrest We have to close them down a little bit better than that. It's too much space at the edge of the box. We're too worried about the, the runners and the shot comes in. Good save from Barkas to hold that in his hands. But they're knocking at the door. And there's a mistake here at the back from Celtic. If we can get this away, that would be good. And here's Edward. He's going to look over the top for Boadu if he can find him. And I think he can. Boadu's got the pace and he's got the legs. Decides to turn on the inside and the defender. And we're going to give this in to Johnston. Oh, how is that not in? I thought that was a sure enough goal there. He says he hits on his weaker foot. Yeah, that one's well wide. Good ball over the top here. By the defender. Going to give it into the winger. Now Lammers going to play that back over again. It's the same ball, but this time he's offside, thankfully. Coming into the latter stages of the game the business end of the game and still nothing separating us at the moment Turnbull's going to come ahead with the ball and that's going to be played over here to potentially oh! again Boadu trying to create something for his team he's going to give this in it's a good ball towards McGregor and it's a oh it's a mistake at the back and I think it's ricocheted off the captain Callum McGregor and it's 3-2 now Oh, it was a good pass through, but I think the defender maybe have made a mistake there. He's maybe just tripped up or got his legs entangled with Callum McGregor's, but Callum McGregor did get the last touch in it, it seems. You can see the ball cut through, it's a good pass. Oh, I'm not too sure. Oh, and Callum McGregor just hacks him down at the back of him there in desperation. And conceding a goal, and he'll pick up a booking for that, and you can see what he's how he feels about that. The Atlanta players are raging with him here. Absolutely raging with that tackle. But they do have a good chance at the edge of the box. The captain is given away. Yeah, he just hacks him down at the back. You can see what the Atlanta players think about that one. In comes a free kick from Gomez. Saved by Barkas. Pushed out for a corner. It was a decent save from him, but you can see how deadly Gomez can be from the free kick position. Edward can maybe get on the end of this. If he can use his strength to win the ball back, he cannot. And Atlanta trying to get the ball forward as best as they can. And here's Gomez. He's going to give this in here. Oh, the defender, it needs to be good here. It needs to be precise. No trailing legs. Callum McGregor will need to watch as he's on a booking as well. This ball's going to come out wide. Potentially for a ball into the box. 
and Azure does well to stick his toe in and get the ball back. And again, the counter-attacking play is coming in from Celtic. And here's Oli Encham, if he can give this over into Boadu, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper now. And as Boadu puts it past the goalkeeper to make it 4-2 with five minutes to go. And perhaps that could be all that is needed for Celtic. Boadu, the good play from Encham to find them, the little dink over the defender. Oh, I'm not celebrating just yet because I know what our defending is like and Atlanta today are playing very, very well. We've been under the course for a lot of uh, minutes today. But it's a good finish on his weaker foot there, Boadu. We've not had many chances, but when we've had, we've taken them, if you can see, with the four goals. Can't say the same about Atlanta, but they still have time. And I think that's it, guys. It is, it is. We've won the Europa League. We've won the Europa League final. We've won the Europa League overall. Oh, I'm so happy with that. And this one means a little bit more to the players. It's getting revenge over Seville. All those years ago, Martin O'Neill's team going to Seville, getting beat off Porto. The way that which we did left a sour taste in our mouths, but we've just avenged that here in London against a good Atalanta side. And for the third time, in this episode, we're doing the huddle in celebration of lifting on yet another trophy. And in our first season, Roy Keane has lifted three trophies. Callum McGregor lifting two of them. Oh man, what a season it's been. The first Korean mode I've done with Celtic in a while. I did try to do one last year, but obviously the game last year was just not great. So I gave up halfway through because I couldn't be bothered. But this one I'm really enjoying. It's the start of the game. I'm enjoying playing with a Celtic team and as you can see from our efforts we've lifted the Europa League trophy. Continental success is something that Celtic have been built on and it's something that I want to build this team on. There's one trophy now we're going after the next one and we, I, I know we're not going to win it next season it's just too hard with the team that we've got but potentially in a few seasons time we could put, have the team well, work towards and build the team that will go forward and try to recreate Lisbon as well as recreating Seville. And the title, the title celebration, the Europa League title celebrations are well underway. You can see what that means to the players. A fantastic, fantastic season it's been. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have as well. You can see the fireworks on display. And anyway, that will be it for me. That will be the finale episode. I will leave you here with this picture with the team and the Europa League trophy. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for the likes and the comments and the suggestions. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now.